everybody. Okay, so what I want to talk about is some time saving tricks. I mean, this could be in any aspect of what we do. Let's start with, for example, banking and paying bills. Now, if you are still out there paying bills by, like, you get the bill in the mail, and you look at the bill, and it says you owe $125, and you pull out your checkbook, and you write uh, ABC insurance or whatever, and then you fill the whole thing out, and then you cut off the tear off the bottom, and then you get there an envelope, and put the address, put the bill, put the envelope, Step, wrap the whole thing up, put a stamp on it, and mail it. Now, <sighs> took me that long to say it. If you're saying, if you're still doing that type of bill paying, well, you are wasting a ton of time. QuickenBillPay.com. Go check it out. I have been using this company now for, let me think, Scarlett's 20? I bet it's, I bet it's 15 years or more. Um, never had a problem. You can always call in and talk to somebody if there's an issue. Um, it it is it is just flat out incredible. You can set up payments, recurring payments. Like for example, uh, one of my employees always gets the same check every two weeks. Always the same amount. Always the same check. So we got her set up as an automatic recurring payment. It gets mailed straight to her bank. Goes into her bank automatically now there's there's all kinds of online banking type services uh, all companies almost all of them will allow you to pay bills now online but even that is time-consuming if you have to search out and seek out every individual company and go to their particular website and blah 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 okay so just consider that one little time-saving trick Another time-saving trick is to get organized. Um, I noticed just the other day, I cleaned up around the studio. I had a customer call up and said they're going to be 30 minutes late. So I figured, well, I'm going to spend this 30 minutes just getting organized. And I moved a few things around. I was kind of thinking about what I was going to do and get everything, step one, step two. Threw out the trash, threw out some, some things that were piled up. And, you know, this time of year, just that kind of stuff just happens. Well, because I was organized, that session was like just efficient. Everything was boom, 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 boom. Everything fell into place. As a result, I went home extremely early that day. So that's another thing, is to get organized. Now, another aspect of get organized in helping your time management is when it comes to your workflow, I've said this for years, your workflow, you need to have a plan when it comes to workflow. Not just simply, uh, well, uh, depending on this, depending on that. No, uh, literally, I want you to write out your plan. Write it all out, step one, and I want you to have as much detail as possible. By doing that, you can pick out little nuances of your workflow plan that you can eliminate. Um, one classic, classic example that I did, this is many years ago, that I highlighted a little nuance that was taking me time, was the Wi-Fi transmitter. Um, Canon had just come out with a Wi-Fi transmitter. This is again several years ago. And now every time I buy a camera, I get the Wi-Fi transmitter because I can't live without it. And that's because it just saves me that much time. I estimate seriously in the course of a week, if I do two sittings a day, um, and I do that Tuesday through Friday, that's eight sessions. I could end up, I could actually do because of the Wi-Fi transmitter, I can actually improve by about 25-35%, which means I can do two or three more sessions a week because of the amount of time it saves me just in transferring files to the main computer. Because while I'm shooting, those files are being transferred. So little things like that. I want you to run through your studio. I want you to look at little crazy scenarios whereby if you find that I don't know. Let's let's think of something silly. I, every time the UPS man comes by, he has to you have to go walk halfway across your your studio and open a door. 
Well, what if, what if, and I, this is radical, but what if you put a, a special service entrance right there, right where you need the stuff? Uh, we did that, and that way we have a, a special entrance for the UPS guy and for the FedEx guy. That way they just come right there and they plop it right down where we need it, as opposed to coming in the front door and we have to get up, we have to go greet them, blah, blah, blah. And all these things are little, but all these little crazy nuances over the course of time add up to time. And again, what I'm trying to do right now in this thread is save you time. So if you've done something really cool and radical that saved you a ton of time, by all means, post it in this thread. I would love to hear about it. I would love to talk about it. That's it. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.